Just about everybody can admit to taking a selfie now and again, but the pressure to capture that perfect pic is causing some to take drastic measures. According to a study, one in three plastic surgeons say patients ask them for ways to look better on social media. Ricky Mitchell has the story. We've all done it. Most of the time, a selfie or two won't hurt you, but sometimes it can become an obsession. There's no question that social media and FaceTime, Facebook, and selfies are driving uh, an interest in facial procedures. Dr. Christopher Maloney has been a plastic surgeon in Tucson for more than a decade. At his Midtown practice, he says he's seen an increase in patients looking for a surgical solution to their quest for that perfect pick. I asked my patient yesterday that I was doing a facelift on. I said, have you ever done a selfie or done face? Time. She goes, oh yeah, I hate it. I talked to my grand granddaughter and she talks about my neck and when I see it, I can't stand how I look in pictures. Thanks to social media, more plastic surgeons are starting to see younger patients too. A 2013 survey by the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery found that almost 60% of facial plastic surgeons surveyed saw more patients under 30. Needles and knives aren't for everyone though. There are now several plastic surgery apps that will change your face and body with the touch of a button. So we gave it a shot. The first app I tried is called Beauty Mirror. It allows you to see real time changes like reshaping and slimming your face. In the before and after, you can see my eyes are clearly bigger, my face thinner, lips plumper. Then I tried Facelift, made by the same app designer, but this one lets you upload a photo. After adjusting the positions of your eyes and mouth, the app lets you lift your brows, remove wrinkles and bags, thin your nose, plump up your lips, and smooth out your skin. The results are subtle, but still deceiving. Finally, Spring, an app that chops off the pounds by elongating your body. After adjusting the settings, you just move up the arrow to make yourself as tall and thin as you want. We can actually have it even a simulation. But if you decide to go for that permanent fix, Dr. Maloney says just make sure you do a little research to find the best and safest option. Not everybody needs a facelift. Some people just need laser resurfacing or Botox or products and things like that. So we're able to really, you know, fine tune and customize an approach to the individual person. Ricky Mitchell, KGON 9 on your side.